designed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the Soviet Union in the 1970s. The Cold War was a period of geopolitical tension between the Soviet Union and the United States. and their respective allies it is the largest and heaviest Mach 2 plus supersonic military aircraft ever built. In the morning of 2nd of October, the Russian Air Force launched four airstrikes on ISIL in the ancient Syriac city of al Karyatane and the T4 Palmyra Highway, Homs Province. An ISIL command and control center was destroyed in a single airstrike in al Karyatane. service in 1987, the Tu-160 was the last strategic bomber designed for the Soviet Union. As of 2016, the Russian Air Force's long-range aviation branch has at least 16 aircraft in service. The Tu-160 active fleet has been undergoing upgrades to electronics systems since the early 2000s. The Tu-160M modernization program has begun with the first updated aircraft delivered in December 2014. This modernized aircraft capable to carry the new long-range KH-55-5 nuclear cruise missile, The Russian Air Force would purchase at least 50 new build 2160S and that production of the aircraft would resume at Kapo General Viktor Bondarev has said that development of the Pak DA will continue alongside resumption of production of the older model bomber Irogozin. The serial production of completely new airframes for the modernized 2160M2 should begin in 2019 with deliveries to the Russian Air Force in 2023. NATO reporting name, Blackjack. The two Tu-160 bombers landed in Venezuela on Monday in a Russian show of support for the government of Socialist President Nicolas Maduro. The long-range strategic bombers landed at Simon Bolivar Airport outside of the Venezuelan capital, Caracas, on Monday along with two other Russian planes. Long-range strategic bombers landed at Simon Bolivar Airport outside of the Venezuelan capital, Caracas, on Monday along with two other Russian planes. A man came to power and build his motherland as most powerful country, after collapsing the Soviet Union. He is former KGB officer Vladimir Putin.